into SPT. So starting at the dashboard, you're going to want to click on Templates in the sidebar. So currently we have an empty page, so we're going to populate it with some templates. First we're going to use the pre-packaged template method. So first we're going to import the template file that we host on the sptoolkit.com website. It's an Outlook Web Access fake login page. So prepackaged templates come in the form of zip files that you can just upload through this manner. You can then take a look at your template by clicking on the ID in the left hand column. The second method of uploading templates is using the scrape method. So there's a few more options here. So first we're going to use Facebook. We're going to scrape the Facebook login page. So when you add the URL you're going to want to ensure that you have the correct URL. So first navigate to Facebook.com and highlight the URL of the page that you want to scrape. SPT then allows you to modify the email file that will be sent to your targets. So we'll go with something along the lines of update your Facebook account. We'll use no reply at Facebook.com. Title is just a heading in the body of the message. And then the fake link is just the link that's presented to the user. It's not the actual link that's used. The actual link that's used is, is crafted by SPT. So now we're going to scrape Facebook. It's here. And as you can see, we've successfully scraped Facebook's page. It looks identical to the real page. We're going to go ahead and go through one more. We're going to use regions. Popular bank. sure you paste. Um, and go with regions, privacy, let's see if this. Go with the no reply again. We use the same thing as the subject line for the title. As you can see, we click the link and we've successfully scraped the regions as well. So this is how this is, so now we've taken you through the two different methods of uploading uh, or of importing templates into SPT. Thanks.